Hi, how is everybody today? Welcome back to Pink Crafty World. Today I have a, a video tutorial on a project that I'm going to be working on. And it's uh, for my mink. I don't have my mink right here now because I'm not quite going to use it yet. Um, but I'm going to show you guys how this reactive paint, uh, how this work. So first thing we're going to do is um, I grab some tags and I have tags here and the way this work um you just uh, paint the area that you want to foil and then when it's dry you have to make sure that it's completely dry you send this to the machine and the machine will foil where you apply the paint um it's really easy um you can do different things with it um i'm going to use to incorporate the use of um washi tape and this is how I'm going to use this washi tape on in the tag. I'm going to create um, a design with the washi tape. And it's going to be like that. Okay. And then it's going to be... This is what I'm doing with the washi. Okay, so now I'm going to grab uh, one of these skinny washi tapes. one more piece a little one doesn't have to be too big and I recommend you use your washi tape from the Dollar Tree because uh, it's your inexpensive uh, tape okay now that you have that there I'm going to open my uh, paint and I'm going to put a little bit uh, it doesn't say if you have to shake these or not I'm not sure, but in case, just I'm going to um, move it a little bit. Just a little bit, and that's it. And now I'm going to put a little bit here. And with the brush, with the use of the brush, what you're going to do is you're going to soak your brush there, and you're going to paint in the tag. And I'm painting in between these lines here i'm going to move this there we go maybe move it okay and you're going to make sure that you're going to cover everything really good with the paint because this is the area where it's going to be foil okay so There we go. And now we're gonna do the small lines here. I'm going to grab a little bit. All right, um, now I'm going to let this dry. Okay, we're going to put that aside. And I'm going to grab another um, of the tags. Um, let me make sure that I clean up. Okay, I'm going to grab another tag and with this tag, what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
um, cover. going to do that design there on this one and again we're gonna paint all right apply the paint on in the bottom part already and I'm going to remove and I'm going to let it dry until it's ready to uh, go through the foil. That will take time because, like I said, you have to make sure that that paint dries really, really good. Um, another thing that Heidi explained in her videos the creator, creator of the mink, is that you can freehand things with this paint. And I'm not too good at freehanding things, but that's what I'm going to do there. And it's like the shape of a flower. It's gonna be like a flowery cap, okay? And I'm going to turn this because I want to bring this to the corner. Um, It's gonna be like a circles, almost like a shape in a shape of a flower. That's pretty much how they're gonna look. Um, and you guys will see when I send this through the mink and um, share with you guys how um, it looks. Another free handed to finish using the paint because of course we don't wanna waste a drop of this paint. Um, I'm going to draw like a squiggly lines, like almost zigzags across the tag. Okay. And I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. And I apologize if you guys not, but um And I'm going to do that one. 
this one here in the bottom. And that one on top. And we're going to let it dry. I don't know really how long this process will take uh, to dry all these tags. And another thing she recommends is as soon as you're done using the paint, um, close the paint really good. And uh, rinse or wash your brushes as quick as you can. And your mat or your stencils, if you're using a stencil, because you also can use stencils with these. So... I'm going to do one with the stencils and um, I'll be back to grab the, I'm going to grab the stencil and share with you guys how that looks. I have different, different stencils here. So I'm going to use uh, one with the circle. I'm going to grab a tag just so you guys can see how this, uh, work and you don't only have to do tags i just happened today to make uh the be making a couple tags but you don't have to grab only tags um like i said you don't have to you can do other type of uh, papers and stuff that you desire to do <clears throat> you can do in your uh, printed paper so I'm trying for my uh, stencil not to touch the part up there. But you guys can see it's uh, this stencil with the hearts. Um, yeah, right now. Um, and I'm going to put it like more towards the bottom. And I'm going to leave this part up there um, free because maybe i'm gonna need that um to write a sentiment or to embellish it with something else so not sure yet what i'm going to be doing but um i'm going to soak my brush and i'm going to hold this Make sure your stencil is pressed down so and probably my hands is covering what I'm doing, but all what I'm doing is applying the paint the same way I did apply um in the other tags. You know, you make sure that you cover where you want the designs to be. So these stencils are very inexpensive. I got these uh, stencils at Walmart. Walmart also sells uh, stencils in their craft uh, area. So, and I happened to grab um, some of them there. So, yeah, this is pretty much covered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the stencil and let it dry and see the outcome after I pass it through the mink how that will be looking like so there it is I have like a little bubble here yeah it did pop so that will be fine so we're gonna let all this dry and when that is dry we're gonna run it through the mink machine make sure that you go and wash your brush and your stencils and everything that you're working on they have paint make sure that you um wash really good all that okay guys so so now um my tags are completely dry and i'm going to remove uh the washi tapes that i put to paint Okay, while well, I'm doing other things, so I'm going to put that there, and it's green here. We're going to go up to the third, see how that's going to be. 
Let's the machine get heat up and we're gonna prepare our first set of tags. And this is the one with the hearts. I don't know if you guys can see where the paint is. And on top, yeah. On top, facing the pretty side up, I'm going to put the foil make sure it's not wrinkly or anything like that that everything is covered and there we go so the machine is ready it's already heat up and we're gonna send this through the machine and see how this is going to look I'm holding it because the tax wants to come off and I don't want that to happen. All right. It went through. So now we're gonna lift our transfer foil and we're gonna lift our foil and this is really good. I like it. I like that it doesn't look perfect because of course we use a brush and I didn't cover all the parts really good because remember this was our stencil. So, but I like that distress uh, foily kind of look. And here is this one with the lines. And here I have a little bit of the paint that went through the area. So that's why it looks like that. Because remember, we're using a, a washi tape to make the lines. So ain't going to be perfect. But um, I like the way they look. Um, now I'm going to do this one that I made those like a flowery circle type thing with the, um, with the brush and I'm going to do the one with the zigzag type thing design. And remember this was with the brush, so ain't going to be perfect. So we have to consider that, but still, I think they look very cute, very nice. Um, whoops, okay. Now, like I said, we're gonna make sure that it's not wrinkled that everything is straight there. And we're gonna send this through the machine. There we have it. We're gonna lift our transfer folder first. And I'm going to remove the foil. Oh my God, how beautiful. I love the effect that this uh, bring to the tags. Because remember, these was tags that, uh, that I did with the brush. So look how pretty they came out. I do love it. I do love it because it's foil, but it, it gives you the illusion that it's been painted. And I love how cool they look. Do you guys see that? How nice they look. I just love that look. And I have a last one here that I'm going to be using.
this piece of foil, um, where's my transfer sheet? It's here. So I'm going to put my tack there. And I'm going to put, oops. Or maybe like this. You have to play with the since this part here. There we go. Everything is covered and we're gonna send it through the machine. Already. So this is the transfer sheet. And here I'm removing the tag and look how nice guys that looks so so nice I love the way this tag came out I'm so happy that I get to do this and now I'm gonna move those because I want to do a couple of these flowers. I'm not say that I'm going to do all of them, but I'm, I would love to do a um, couple of them. I will be making this one. And this one and this other one. Okay. Well, sorry about the interruption. My husband was calling me, but um, here I have the flowers and I have the piece of foil here that I'm going to be used. Remember, the areas where the product is, in this case, the laser, the black laser print on the flowers is have to face up and the beautiful part of the paper is going to face up also. So, and I'm going to put it like right in there. Okay. No wrinkles, no nothing. Let me fix this here. And we're going to send it through the machine. So here we're going to remove now the foil from the transfer sheet. And, oh my God, how beautiful is this? We got one flower here. Let me remove it. My God, guys, look how pretty are those flowers. This, I'm using the pink foil from, from the mink from Heidi Swap. And it's gorgeous and guys um this is it thank you so much uh, for watching my video i uh, hope that you guys like this uh video process um and like i said i hope everybody's having a wonderful time this weekend uh thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye now